What's interesting about a poltergeist case is that it does involve physical phenomena. You see, if you go to a haunted house and someone sees a ghost, that does not need to involve any physical interaction. It could be in the mind. Now, of course, a skeptic will say a ghost is just an hallucination. It's not real. But you do have ghosts which are seen by many different people at the same time. It's what we call a collective apparition. What's fascinating about a poltergeist case is that it does involve a physical interaction. It may involve furniture moving, it may involve somebody levitating. If it involves an interaction with the physical world, that means physics has got to be able to explain these things, if physics at least is going to be complete. Either that or you say that physics is incomplete, and that, to me, would not be a very popular conclusion. I had no idea, as well as having done all of this work on black holes, and as well as having studied with Stephen Hawking, suddenly I'm seeing you on television talking about poltergeists. 